We want to live full lives, you know? We want to live full, dignified lives where our friends and families living in the global south aren't drowning, burning, starving, or having to migrate because the UK government, who has a historic responsibility for actually causing the climate crisis, is failing to meet with its legal obligations and international duties. My name is Marina, I'm 19 years old. Um, I'm half Mexican and half English and I was born in Mexico, right? And this place, right, when, when I grew up, my mom would always take us to this village. Right? It's a beautiful village and it's a place that I love so much. There's people there that, that are family to me, you know? And right now it's under threat. Right now sea levels are rising. Communities are being uprooted. You know, food sources are being diminished. And I mean, that's why coming back to the UK, I guess it's been a moment to really realize, I guess, the privilege that we have of being here in the West and, and weaponize it and use it to hold this government accountable and use it to stand in solidarity with our brothers and sisters and communities living in the global South that are right now suffering as a result of this government's criminality. I'm Jerry, I'm a panda, I'm 22, and I'm a finest student here, but I'm also working on the global majority versus young people versus UK government case. <laughs> and um, yeah, working with youth solidarity groups to mobilize around the world. This is looking at the fundamental aspects of law. This is looking at our right to life, right? This is looking at our dignity, our humanity, and it's also telling them to stop the harm. Now, if those aren't the underpinnings of the justice system, then what is justice? But it's now time that the global majority's voice and the community's voice globally, their voices are heard in the British courts. And it's really a chance for us to see if law and order as we think it means something to us means anything at all. And it's going to be that chance for us to see how we can exercise public will um, into legislation that suits our own survival, suits our own human rights, and gives us a chance to um, speak to our, our global capacity to be human beings. I think.